Good morning, Coyotes. It's Monday, September 23rd, and did you know that the observation of Hispanic Heritage Month began in 1968 as Hispanic Heritage Week under President Lyndon Johnson and was expanded by President Ronald Reagan in 1988 to cover a 30-day period? It was enacted into law August 17, 1988. I'm Sonari. And I'm Tesla. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. The Spanish Honor Society is now accepting applications for this school year. To register, scan the QR code on the flyer posted in the language department hallway. See Mrs. Barber in room 1006 with any questions. Our next meeting will be on Thursday. If you missed the trials for the mock trial last week, stop by Portable 10 today at lunch for the makeup. The CHS Free Writing Center is open during lunch for any student interested in getting writing help for class assignments, college scholarships, or college applications. Visit room 165 during lunch to set up an appointment with Mr. Harlow. These are the last two weeks to sign up for Mrs. Hopp's Spring Break Puerto Rico trip. If you love warm weather and adventure, then come by room 142 to get the information. Now let's go to Isabella for the weather. Good morning, Clarksburg. I'm Isabella, and here with your daily weather. Today will be cloudy with light showers in the high 67. Tonight will bring more cloudy skies and occasional showers. The low will be 60. Tomorrow will be another cloudy day with, a light, with light showers in the high of 60. That's all, for, that's all the weather coyotes. Now let's go back to the announcements after this quick video. The College Essay Workshop is an opportunity for seniors to get one-on-one -on -one help from a CHS English teacher during select office hours. Sign-ups fill quickly, so secure your time today. Do you like to paint? Do you like to show your school spirit? For the next two weeks, we will be painting sports banners for the fall sports teams in room 144 during lunch on Mondays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. All are welcome to come and help. See you there. Now let's see what is happening in Coyote Athletics. What's good, Seaberg? I'm Sonari, and I've got your Coyote Sports Minute. Varsity Field Hockey defeated Northwest 3-2 on Friday, while JV fell to the Jaguars 4-0. Girls Volleyball beat Sherwood on Friday night. JV won 2-1, and Varsity won 3-1. JV Girls Soccer defeated Poolsville 6-1, and Varsity Football fell to Seneca Valley 21-15. On Saturday, Varsity Field Hockey fell to Damascus in their makeup game, game from earlier in the week while JV football blinked the Screaming Eagles 27-0. Finally, girls' soccer fell to Churchill. JV fell 4-0 and varsity fell 2-0. Today, girls' volleyball heads to Quinn's Orchard. JV starts at 5.30 and varsity takes from the Cougars at 6.30. Here we go, Seaberg. I'm Sonari, and now let's get back to the announcements. September is Deaf Awareness Month. Did you know that approximately 3 out of every 100 children in the U.S. are born with a detectable level of hearing loss in one or both ears? There are three types of hearing loss related to the outer ear, inner ear, or both. Did you know that sounds above 85 decibels can cause hearing loss? As teenagers, one way you can prevent hearing, hearing loss is to turn down the volume on your earbuds. Another way is to wear earplugs for loud events such as concerts or sporting events. That's all for today's announcements. I'm Tesla. And I'm Sonari. Be good, do good.